Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at how to add login to your ASP.NET Core application using Serilog. This was where we left off in a video called Global Exception Handling in ASP.NET Core. If you want to see how we we'll do this, check the link in the description below. So here we have a method that is already uh, catching all our exceptions globally. And at this point, we say that we want to be able to log it in a file. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is let's add the NuGet package called Serilog. Let's search for it. Now we need to we need three uh, basic um, libraries to be able to do this. We need the Serilog, we need Serilog syncs file, and we need Serilog syncs console. So let's go ahead and install all this. Accept. Select the second one, install. Accept. Install the console. Okay. All right. So now the next we are going to do is we'll go to our program. Let's see here. We want to configure. Sorry, log. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out a code snippet here that I've written. I'm going to replace this. What we are doing here is we are config configuring our logger. Yeah, let me install the namespace. So uh, set the property, the minimum level of uh, information you want to log. Write to console, write to file, and create a logger. Then we we'll put our Create web host builder into a try cache. So finally, we can close and flush the logger. So here you can, you can give uh, the name of your file, uh, any name that you like, just give it half name here. So the last thing we're going to do is in our controller where we want to log our file, and I'll say log. Let's resolve the namespace, bring in using the sorry log, the log dot error. We have other things we can log, can log information, we can log error. So just you can go through the, the methods available for you. And in this case, we want to log error. And we're going to pass in our exception, which is ehex, and also pass in the parts where the exception occur. Okay, so let's run this in release mode. So we're able to test our error. Continue debugging. So we have it here. Our error is displayed because we have to return this error. So let's close this now. If you look at our project structure here, you see that we already we now have a file called logs uh, because we, in our in our configuration we said you put inside logs and the name of the hub. So let's expand it. Here we have it. Open this, we see that we are logging the error. The error is coming from API slash values, and the error we have is input string notes in a correct format together with this, this stack trace. So here we have it. This is how to configure sorry log and to, to add logger to your ASP.NET Core application. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it. Also subscribe to this channel so that uh, you can get notified when we upload other videos like this. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.